what's up youtube first things first thanks for clicking on this video and welcome to my cooking channel well, in today's little episode i'm going to show you guys how i achieved this beautiful delicious easy sweet potato pie okay guys all right first things first you guys want to start with washing your potatoes just get in there wash them nice and right okay we need some clean potatoes for this good ass pie I used to boil my potatoes, you know, the old fashioned way, but I started roasting them because I noticed that when you roast them, you do save a lot more sweet potato flavor. And in order to do that, you just want to stab your potatoes. Don't go killer crazy, guys. You don't have to get all deep in there. Just stab them surface, you know, stab the surface of them all around the potato. And what this is going to do is when you put them in the oven, they won't explode. My mom says they'll explode if you don't stab them. So <laughs> you don't want to test that theory to see if it's true or not. Okay, guys. So I bake them at 425 degrees Fahrenheit and I usually flip them halfway through so I'll do 30 minutes on each side. Now this is the pie crust that I use. My great auntie uses it and I really love it. It tastes so good. So you want to take it out the wrapper and you're going to let it thaw for 10 to 15 minutes because you're going to have to poke it. And we are going to pre-bake this pie crust so I'm going to let you guys know how to do that. You might want to do this close to the time that your potatoes are finished. Okay guys? Now this is a whole stick of salted butter, you're just going to pop that in the bowl and my potatoes are obviously done roasting. So you're just going to pop that in the bowl and you're going to peel your potatoes and put them right on top of the cold butter, okay? Now I like to do this because it makes it easier to mash when the potatoes are hot. You guys can let them cool, I burnt my fingers so many times guys just trying to peel them while they were hot. So be careful. Now you're going to take your potato masher and just get in there guys. Just mash it as best you can we are going to use a hand blender as well so it's okay if it's still a little chunky because you are going to go in with the hand blender just to make sure that you get it nice and right okay and i'm going to leave all the ingredients in the description guys don't even worry about trying to write this stuff down okay now what i'm doing here guys is i'm just poking the bottom with the fork and i'm going to do the sides as well and what this does is it prevents your pie crust from rising while it's in the oven with no stuffing i've seen people put dried beans and all this stuff i don't do that i don't like that it just makes me uncomfortable so i just like to prick the bottom and the sides as well and when you stick it in the oven you won't have to worry about it rising or anything like that okay now for this specific pie crust the instructions on the back are to bake it for at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 12 to 15 minutes and that is to get a ready to fill pie crust. That's exactly what you want for a sweet potato pie because you don't want to go in with a frozen, you know, doughy pie crust and then when you bake your pie, your, your pie is done but your crust isn't. Okay, so you're just going to do 375 for 12 to 15 minutes unless you have a different kind of pie crust. In that case, follow the directions on the back of the pie crust of your choice, okay? Now, I highly recommend before you put your pie crust in the oven, wrap the rim of the pie crust with aluminum foil, guys, okay? Now, what this is going to do is prevent your pie crust rim from burning. This is what your pie is going to look like, all right, before you wrap it. Now, just take any kind of cheap-ass foil you got, okay? Now, you're just going to take a little piece and wrap it around the rim, just the rim. Cause you don't want that to burn and you're going to cook this twice so you're going to pre-bake it and then you're going to stick it back in the oven to cook the actual pie now you don't want no burnt ass crust am i right so just take it take the aluminum foil to the best of your ability and just wrap it around the rim of the pie crust okay guys i'm going to show you what it'll look like before you stick it in the oven so you don't go aluminum foil crazy all right guys I'm also going to leave some instructions in the description box for you guys just so you can see it you know i'll write it step by step just to make it a little easier for you guys okay Right, so now our pie crust is ready to go in the oven at 375 for 12 to 15 minutes, all right? Now we're gonna work on that sweet potato pie filling. Now I use two eggs and I just take that little thing out. Now, just a disclaimer guys, use this as a guide, okay? I don't have your taste buds, all right? So some people like their pies really sweet, some people don't like theirs too sweet. So just use this as an example and if you want it sweeter or any less sweet, just go according to your taste buds, okay? Now this is a half a cup of white sugar and I also use three fourths of a cup of light brown sugar, okay? Now this is to your taste buds, like I said again. And you're gonna blend, I try to blend between every ingredient just to make sure it's all evenly distributed, okay? And you're gonna beat it as well as you can. You're gonna do this a few times. Now this is up to you, if you wanna add everything at one time, and just beat it you can do that feel free all right now this is cinnamon and I use three-fourths of a teaspoon of cinnamon and then I use one-fourth of a teaspoon of nutmeg and one teaspoon of vanilla extract like I said I'm gonna put these I'm gonna put these uh, ingredients in the description so don't worry about trying to write it down or nothing like that I got you all right so you're just gonna beat beat you know beat it real nice and make sure it's as as blended as you'd like it okay 
Now this is just a fourth of a cup of just regular old whole milk you can use, whatever kind of milk you have, and it's gonna help your pie rise. You don't want no flat ass sweet potato pie, guys, okay? Now we're gonna blend it for one last time before we fill the pie crust. Now I personally like to taste my pie filling, okay? Just to make sure that it's sweet enough, make sure that it's the taste that you like it. And if you have to add anything else, go for it. Now this is what your pie crust is gonna look like after it's pre-baked and it's all ready to be filled and stick them in the oven, okay? So you're just gonna take them, you're gonna fill them as high as you want, as low as you want whatever you like and stick them in the oven okay now the pie crust is fully baked so I cook mine at 400 degrees for about 45 minutes just until it gets this brown nice little coating on top okay guys looking delicious and here we are with the finished product I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe let me know how you like it in the comment section maybe leave me a like and maybe even subscribe okay I will be back next week with another recipe so be on the lookout guys bye Bye.